Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving resistors in series. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that a resistor of three ohms is in series with another resistor of six ohms. What is the total resistance? Well, writing down what we know from the question here, we're trying to find RT. I'm going to make R1 the three ohms and R2 the six ohms, and I can stop at R2 because I've only got two components here. Then writing down our equation for resistors in series, we have that RT equals R1 plus R2. Substituting in the numbers gives us three plus six, which equals nine ohms. Hopefully quite straightforward there. Question two says that the resistance of one Christmas tree light is 24 ohms. What is the total resistance of 20 lights in series? Well, writing down what we know from the question here, we're trying to find RT. Let's call R1 at 24 ohms as one of the Christmas tree lights. And then what we can do is because R2 and R3 and so on up to R20 will be identical to R1, we can write down that RT equals R1 plus R2 plus dot 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 plus R20. And all I've done here to speed it up in the equation is I've ignored R3 up to R19, which is okay. And what we can do now is rewrite this as 20 times R1, because we know that R1 is identical to all the other resistors. So adding all the resistances up 20 times is the same as 20 times R1. So we can now do 20 times 24, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 480 ohms. Lastly, question three says that in the diagram below, the total resistance across AB is measured and found to be 25 ohms. What is the resistance of R2? Well, there's AB and we've got this unknown resistor R2. So writing down what we know from the question, we know that R2 is what we're trying to find. We know that RT is 25 ohms from the question. R1 is six ohms and R3 is 10 ohms. So I'm just calling these R1, R2 and R3 from left to right. And writing down my equation now, I have RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3, stopping at R3 because we've only got three components. Substituting in the numbers now, we have 25 equals six plus R2 plus 10. So if we group the six and 10 together on this side, we get 16. And if we then want R2 on its own, we need to subtract 16 from both sides. So we get R2 equals 25 minus 16. And that gives us a final answer of nine ohms. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.